Hello and welcome to Plant Path Podcast this evening. Um, my name is Oluwato Simogbado Ade, your host on the show. Plant Path is your place for book reviews and crucial conversations. And um, today I have a special friend on the show. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can see our faces and let me give you an idea of what's happening. We are sitting somewhere in the beautiful city of Lagos exactly. under the bright. What in with the color of this guy? <laughs> this one looks like white and cloudy. The other part is cloudy. Yeah. And before now, we've been having some very nice conversations and yeah. we thought to record a podcast for you um, in celebration of World Suicide Prevention Month. Uh, World Suicide Prevention Month, uh, Prevention Awareness Month. Um, it's a month where well, throughout the month of September, um, there's there's always a campaign to tell people about suicide, encourage people with suicidal tendencies to speak out, and also celebrate survivors of suicide episodes and all of that. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, first of, um, we have a book. So just tell us how we <laughs> arrived at this book. <laughs> well, okay, let me summarize the story. It was like, ah, hey girl, you need to be on my next course. Can I be like, ah, okay, let's see how it works. And she was like, can you pick your favorite book? Let's review that. Like, um, uh, well, it was very difficult actually because I have like a lot of favorite book. So I she read a lot. This one that we are reviewing today for you guys. So yes, yes. That's how we come about this. Yeah, and the book is um, "Don't Sweat the Small Stuff." Yeah. By what's that man's name? Richard Carlson. Richard Carlson. The name is too long. <laughs> but don't sweat the small stuff. I'm not going to sweat his name too. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, right. I'm not going to sweat it. Nice. Okay, so don't sweat the small stuff. So um, first of all, we've been talking. You've not told us how your name was. Ah. That's how the conversation is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my name is Deborah Anedo, like A N E D O, please. Anedo, not. <laughs> nice. And my name is Oluwato Simugwadwade. Try and spell it any way you can. <laughs> it's very long. Uh, very. Please, don't, sweat letters. It, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it at all. <laughs> okay, so I picked up the book. Deborah sent me a copy of the book and I started reading it. I believe there are so many ways to read a book. I believe that there are books that, that you just read, flip, right? Yeah. But there are books that you read. Mm-hmm. Are you going to think about your life? Mm-hmm. That is the kind of book we are reviewing mm-hmm. today. And that book has shaped my perspective. What I try to do, there are actually a hundred small stuff that Richard Carlson was saying that we shouldn't sweat. Yeah. Actually, I wanted to do one book, one point per day. But I realized that we were not never going to do this podcast. So I fastened the reading and all of that and did one or two things. And trust me, it's been very insightful. Mm-hmm. What do you like about the book? The fact that it's relatable and there are principles that you can apply to your life. Like, no, yes, like what you said, like you just, there are some books you just read, like, okay, just for the fun of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I want to know what happened to the actor. <laughs> oh, did they kill this person? Is this person end up, you know, there are some books that are just like on a fast thing, but there are some books you just like, okay, no, I think this one makes sense. I think I need to apply it to my life. Let me try it and see if it will help me relate to people better. Let me try it out and see if it will help me, like, okay, you know, figure out my life. And truth being told, no, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I've applied all of them in my life, though. But those that caught my fancy, I've used them, and yes, 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 to some extent, I've seen results. You know, you know, one thing I like is openness and honesty. I like what you just said that it's not like you've applied everything. For me, I, I don't, I don't so much believe in doing everything at the same time. Yeah. I'm a fan of consistency. Mm-hmm. Pick one a day, do it acclimatize after a week add another one exactly. like the way the bible says add faith to your faith add, add patience yes. to your patience add long so su- virtue add, long adding. tolerance long suffering like that like that till you become perfect yeah so yeah there's power yeah. in and as you listen to this podcast i would encourage you that you know don't don't sweat it 
don't try to get everything at once yeah. listen remember to share with your friends and listen to other episodes though exactly um, <laughs> yeah so um listen you know pick something do it and come back to you over and over again come back to you over and over again i think it's a very helpful thing for us to do um let's go on a quick commercial break <laughs> 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 you don't want to see us right now. <laughs> don't worry, we are good. We are good. Good to dress. Okay, so let's go on a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back to start discussing some aspects of the book with yeah. you. See you soon. See you soon. <laughs> Podcast in five, three, two, <laughs> one. Uh, I did not say four, but it's fine. <laughs> Welcome. We are recording now. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, so uh, for this segment of the show, we are going to pick. I so we said earlier that we have hundreds more stuff that you shouldn't sweat, right? So we are going to pick random numbers between one to hundred, and then any number we pick will go to that particular small stuff you shouldn't sweat, and we discuss about it. So Deborah, okay, so pick a number. Yes. <laughs> Da, da, da. 65 65 oh uh, lucky number 65 we have Deborah <laughs> in the house <laughs> okay number 65 says be flexible with changes in your plan hmm, hmm. you are the one they are talking to <laughs> <laughs> the spirit is working <laughs> honestly uh, 65 okay. okay be flexible with your changes in your plan okay okay so the author is saying yeah like once he gets something on his mind on a normal day he's kind of person he just go at it he keeps thinking about it and all of that and when it doesn't work in accordance it get a toll of him so the lesson is giving out here is try to be flexible in as much as you want to like hit that goal you want to be successful and all of that realize that there are some external factors that might not work in play with what you you want with your internal factor whatever so whenever it hits you that way and things don't work out the way you want try to be fluid and like bend your way mm. but don't lose your peace True. but still be on the go but like look for another method and all of that so if mm. you say ah i want to jack i want to jack i want to jack but that's O'Shea. the plan <laughs> nice but right now nice dollar is going, money is not and the school you are trying to use to run away mm. <laughs> to jack but the school did not give you admission they turn it to next year mm. at least from now to next year instead of feeling bad i know try to like you know mm. figure out something to do and see hope Yo, you know the jackpot plan is still working but right now you know there have been some like obstruction mm. and all mm. but then don't let it get a toll on you that mm. you start having some emotional trauma and setbacks mm. and all of that so can i add a thought to what you just yeah. said ahead, okay please. so i'm that i'm a super planner i'm very organized in my head mm. right and it shows every time it shows but when I'm with my friends, we can, you understand, I can be laid back. Yeah. But essentially, I'm a very organized, disciplined person. And like you said, don't lose your peace. I've been at points in times in my life that something happened and I'm like, why didn't this happen? And I'm worrying over it. I'm sweating over it. Mm-hmm. But you know, one day I was talking to my dad and my dad just went, Tosi, on a con word in, there are plenty markets, plenty routes bro, that routes lead to the, market. to the market. This thing you want, there are a million and million one ways, ways to get to it. Like you said, it did not work that way. Doesn't mean it won't work. Do you know what I now did this year? I bet you, see, eh? 2022 is literally one of the best years of my life so far. That's great. At the beginning of the year, do you know what I did? I had no plans. Mm. Maybe I took mine overboard. I was like, tossing this year would. We'll we would accept opportunities because sometimes when you are not flexible opportunities are coming but you're not seeing them exactly. because you're looking at it must this be that way, way. This w- it this must way. be that way. This way exactly so you know what this year i'm like you know what we're going to do and uh, we're going to work hard mm-hmm. work really hard but we are just going to respond to opportunities as exactly. they come oh my god i'm glad i made that Seize decision the opportunity has yeah. come. i'm not yet there right but as i'm flexible with my plans day by day on a norms like we didn't start the time we're supposed to start yeah. i might have been i might have over planned maybe there's another part of you don't over plan leave some room for changes and flexibility exactly too. i just sat down there at least i had a good time while sitting so yeah that's it be flexible <laughs> with your plan yeah, that's, <laughs> Go, that's a nice number I you chose. 
<laughs> okay, so let's do another, another one. Number. My turn now. Yes, you're supposed oh, to do two. two number. You're, uh, oh, wow. you're a guest. Okay, number twenty-nine. Okay. Let's see. Be good. Da -da 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 -da. Be good. Be good. Wow. Twenty-nine says, Bam. "Become a better listener." Hmm. Become a better listener. Hmm. Oh, Asha. I we think... are both quiet. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's like that's 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 a twenty-first century skill set that mm. we need to bring back. You know, mm. me, I'm this kind of person that because during my brain work, it works very fast. So mm. like, it's just this fast that when you're talking, I, I just feel like I know the next sentence or next thing to say, and unconsciously I'll just you know start filling the gap for people. But not knowing that, to so some people it's very annoying, but they don't know how to tell me because they feel this is Deborah, you know, take it like that. You can be talking like that, I'll just fill the gap. I'll just fill the gap. Like, I won't even give you space. And you feel, because I feel, let's just, it's like, just go. Talk and and then someone just starts me and say, ha, do you know what? what? Well, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, no, but I'm just saying that. I don't know how you would take it to. Hmm. But I'm not saying that. Can you just let people talk? Sometimes hmm. you don't know if. Um, if they feel like you're too smart and mm. they're feeling inferior, they can't come to you, they can't approach you. So at that moment, that thing just shook me because it was like a closest friend. Like, oh my life, nobody told me this. Hmm. So instead of me being like critics, I'm like, ah, uh -uh, why will you say? But then I had to like sit down and think about it. Like, I'm a girl, reason this thing, you know. Hmm. You know, for people, they make brain like for people to because I can't to, like sit down and think about it. Okay, all these people that I have this conversation with, at the end of the day. Do, like what is their feedback do they come back and say hey nice because i'm always finishing their conversation it's as if i know like 10 mm. times i heard like she just made it nice that it's not your fault that your brain worked that fast mm. but try to slow down mm. almost from that day mm. eh? I try my, i'm not there yet though because now if i meet some people i will just <laughs> on a fast lane i can't be but then i have to be like oh cautious i'll be like oh sorry sorry can you go on so I used to be like, okay, when you catch yourself doing that, just tell them, oh, sorry, my bad. Can mm -hmm. you go on? Like, mm -hmm. I apologize. Mm -hmm. And let them go on. And let them finish whatever they want to say. Like, let it all out. And then ask, oh, can I now share my opinion? Or will you my go? Sometimes I think my opinion is not necessary. And I feel the person has figured it out already. I'll just encourage them with what they figure out. And so rather than always, like, entering the middle. I'm not there yet. But reading this book, I've me, okay, you know what? be a good listener people just want to just vent and then someone to listen to people don't just want solution they just want people that will just listen to them and mm. affirm what they are going through mm. but if you're always jumping and cutting them shots it's actually rude so i'm talking to myself now it's rude i realize it's rude and i've been disrespectful mm. and that's that's not made me a good listener mm. so now i've since then since she told me that i've been so conscious about it and yes mm. i'll say i'm growing in that as we do sometimes I do, but then I'm conscious so I bring myself back. But I, I no, I, I take that to heart actually. So yes. That's that about and I'm going to be a good listener and not say anything about what you said. <laughs> no <laughs> Oh then contribute your own part. No, no. <laughs> Become a Listen, better listener. Like, so yeah. yeah. Listening listening. Wow. You know, like you said, people don't want to hear your opinions. They just want to know how much you care. Have you listened to somebody and the person will say, thank you very much? I'm like, what did I do? I experienced that. Like, I'm so experiencing that. In fact, they are even encouraging me to go and register for an um, ED class. This is a doctor oh, class. Oh. That the oh, boy can become oh. a psych psych psychotherapist. The boy can build, the boy can do this. The boy you, you, have a, you have a background in like that, so. I've yeah. even do some other stuff. Like mm. come on, build. I'm like, hmm, I mean, because I'm just trying to grow myself in listening. All of you and I'm pushing me. <laughs> even you leave me alone. But then I, I saw something in that that people just want you to listen. And mm. I, ah, the one day I was talking to a friend. I won't, I won't say anything about it, but. Just listening to him, and then I just affirm is like I validate what he was going to that day. Mm. Hey, guy, you and he said crying. Oh, my, I was confused. I don't even know what to do. Oh, I just please, like, guys, cry. It's good. It's good. Mm. Like I encourage positive masculinity. It's really good. Mm. He said crying. I don't remember. I, just, I was just like a part at the back. That's what I did. Only that part at the back. Oh, that's the miracle. Like yeah. that's the miracle. I was like thank you. I never felt this way. I don't know that this. Was... Like, and the I way the country anything, is. Actually. I mean, like. People are going are under a lot of stress these days, and everybody just wants someone to at least slow down and listen to them. Exactly. Yeah. Listen, 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 listen. Be a good <laughs> listener. Listen. 
<laughs> oh nice so my turn yeah choose a number for me ah i <laughs> oh, yeah. i picked two uh, numbers on my face um uh, 74 okay rolling rolling Bar. action <laughs> do a favor and don't ask do a favor and don't ask for or expect one in return no nah, that's bad i don't want to do that again yo yo you picked it already <laughs> <laughs> sorry so you're gonna do a favor don't ask for expect one in return wow that's that's hard feels like me right now like it's so personal okay do a favor and not expect anything in return yeah like you just i just do it like just to just be there for people although it's hard it takes a lot of maturity exactly. okay so i believe somehow in relationships like you're my friend i'm your friend if i do you a favor and not expect anything you don't and you too you do me a favor and you're not expecting you don't the equation will be balanced yes. but the problem is that some people we just want to take 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 and not look out for you which is bad i think the, there's the aspect of watch out for your own self don't give from an empty place and everything but then there's also a place where maybe 10% of your life or somewhere okay. do good to people and mm -hmm. not expect them to do anything for you in return. Just yeah. do it like, do things for people that cannot pay you back. Exactly. Or pay someone's transport in the bus. Yeah. Be there for someone that you know that this person may not be able to do that thing back for me in the mm -hmm. moment. I think maybe volunteering. There's a place of doing things like higher than ourselves, you understand? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not always expecting yeah, transactional relationships. Yeah. yeah, it is it is very it's good, it's therapeutic, it's satisfying, and it's a good way to change the world. Yeah. It's hard at times, but it's something we have to do with so much intentionality. And at it least it gives this feeling. Mm, fulfillment. Know, there's this feeling that comes with it. Well, I don't want to like start shaking tables you know mm. you know people just do things for the gram for the social media mm. like they help somebody they'll make you know that they help somebody on the gram no you're not they'll tell you okay i just did it for the person mm. i'm not expecting anything in return but, but then you're on the gram maybe you're not expecting gram anything the from the return from the person you're doing it to but mm. then from the, the group, like there's and, and if don't come if the, if those comments don't come or whoever you are trying to like catfish with those with that act do not like mm -hmm. fall into that trap mm -hmm. they'll use there'll still be this sort of disappointment either mm, ways true so there's this piece that comes from i do mm. this thing i know like you know when the bible say what's when you're when your one and is doing something let the other and don't know about it mm -hmm. and all of that it, there's this piece you have i don't know it's a sense of fulfillment uh, mm -hmm. like you're engaging in something higher like i played my part i make somebody smile today you know it goes along drop a gift for somebody and really don't let the person yeah. know about it and i get the part of the relationship because yes it's a relationship now it, it, it doesn't have to be parasitic it has yeah. to be we are in a relationship so it's to be a, yes a win-win Mm. So it's not as if one person is feeding from the other. No, mm. that's toxic. So it has to be win-win. So in as much as I can go the mouth for you, you should be able to you do the same. Go the like mouth the effort for me. The effort is 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 what and that's what builds relationship actually. Mutual energy. Yes. So I feel mm. relationship only is is very important. Yeah. So Please. in as much as you can just do things mm. without no but then mm. There's still some unspoken mm. expectation whether I like it or not yeah. in relationships. Don't like in relationships. Someone, one of my friends will always say, "Give us not to give and take us not to take without giving back." So yeah, it's very important that when you're in relationship, when you're with selfless people, don't don't overstretch yeah, it. And take advantage. Of yeah, it. yeah. Just do it. The person is not respecting re re anything in return. I don't know. But you to give yourself brain. Yeah, I don't know why we stick to oh I'm a giver, I'm a giver. Oh I'm a take, I'm a take. A, a, a giver too can be a receiver. Can what can we I all be give and take? Yes, I'm a we giver and I'm a receiver. We breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide. That's like. how it works. So we give and take. Don't stay on one side of the pole. Yeah. We both. You give. And people you call take, themselves you, givers I'm at times for the kini. I should be able to give then if I if you can in fact if you if you are good at taking then you should be wonderful at giving. Yes. Then. It's good like every giver should know how to take. That's something I'm really learning how to do. Like exactly. I, I I'm learning how to respectfully compel people in my circles to give back to me as yes, well. In a very polite way, like I go out the way out for you. Yes, it's not a bad thing. You should learn how to go yeah. out the way out for me. Because it's good to also watch out for yourself. I wonder they say nice people carry last, nice people suffer last. 
No, I just feel they don't. If you put that boundary and say this is a relationship, be it friendship, be it intimate relationship, be it family kind of relationship, mm -hmm. this is a relationship. So everybody has the expected rule, and I can't be giving mine and acting mine, and you are not giving yours yeah. in return. How are we growing? Give yes, give without expecting return. And you too, as they are giving you, make sure that you you give back. Exactly. Yes, don't use people, don't be users. Very important. Exactly. Amen. Hey, reach it faster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so Debbie, it's your turn. Um, I think you should pick, one pick yes, pick towards the end, towards the end or middle. I don't know. I'm just suggesting to you towards the end. Okay, let's do number ninety-nine. Okay. That's far. Mm -hmm. That's far. Ninety-nine. Where okay. are you? Where are you? Okay. Where okay. are you? Uh, Not difficult uh, though. Mm, mm, okay, mm. I got you. Mm. Schedule time for your inner work. Okay. Schedule time. Let me click. Sorry, I need to look for it. Okay. Schedule time for your inner work. Okay. Okay, I think this has to do with like um schedule time for your inner work. Hmm. Well. <coughs> In our work okay basically your personal development that's what the um author is saying here well whew, that requires a whole lot of discipline you know, yeah. i wouldn't say i'm there yet but i think the one i know that has grown with me with time is you know when growing up in a devoted family when you wake up and do your morning devotion and all of, so that has grown with me so when you wake up now you know you have to pray to god yeah first so I would say when it comes to my spiritual life of okay, praying and reading the Bible, and because of the Christian community I belong to, they be like make environments easier for us to like, you know, participate in this spiritual growth and all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I read books. That's like another side of me that's effortless. Mm -hmm. So then personal development. Well, sometimes, uh, especially when I live in this Lagos, I know I have to wake up and meet traffic. <laughs> you have to, sometimes I pray in traffic. <laughs> it's in traffic I'm praying, it's in traffic I'm doing, like you just have to maximize the time you have. It's in mm. traffic you are doing your devotion, listening to, joining online Bible study and all of that. Mm. And then chasing morning. Though, yes, it might be difficult sometimes. Mm. A lot of people, I know a lot of people, like, if you ask somebody, now when last I be like taking time off and say, okay, let me be with myself, let me just meditate, let me just check my inner self. Mm. I'm sure a lot of people cannot tell when last they are because of how this country and the whole situation is. But the truth is, we should not lose ourselves mm. in the quest of making money or in the quest of trying to make ends meet because mm. at the end of the day, when we make this money, mm. it will be strange. Like, it will be strange. Not that the money is strange, it's the fact that that part of us mm. that feels alive or that part of us we we feel, yes, for too there's long. a part of us that we are that is alienated from us already. Mm. Oh. So let's just still carry ourselves along. Mm. I mean this is an encouragement to me, you and everybody now. <laughs> <laughs> As yeah. every the price is rising, when you go to market you want to go and buy something to cook some money, just hear them and they'll say um, uh, fish don't call. I'm like, hey, God, mm. want to buy sandy? I'm like, oh, I for those with the chop sandy, mm -hmm. and I wear it on. So, so, but then let's taking out time for yourself, mm. spiritual, mm. personal growth is key. You should not lose mm. that light on the inside. Mm. There's a sentence in that, um, in that particular page that yeah. says that schedule time with yourself mm -hmm. and. So I I don't like to wait till everything is perfect. I like to work with what's currently obtainable. Yeah. You said something about in traffic, maximize the time. Um, one thing I've also been doing to that helped me is that every day, somehow, somehow, at least I get some time to just stay alone. Maybe not touch my phone. I just be on my own. Sometimes yeah. it's, I, I take a walk. I love yeah. taking walks these days. Like as I was coming, I took a walk quite a distance. I walked since I knew we weren't. I, I still had time in mm -hmm. distance. So I took a walk, just just being a human being, no yeah. no running up and down and everything. Walking, I have a daily goal on my phone to to reach six thousand steps. Try. Sometimes I, I obviously don't meet it every okay. day, <laughs> you know. but three times a week I try to ensure that I'm very close to it. That's Take a nice. long walk. Mm -hmm. If you live in a safe area, if you if it's not too dark, please oh please security measures please. Yes, so. But taking long walks helps a lot. Mm -hmm. At least you know you're not using your phone as you're on the road. Mm -hmm. 
yeah then maybe before we sleep like you said when you wake up just kind of find a way to ensure that you're just on your own sometimes i, I just realize that today's friday how is today friday like I've just been going from over my Monday day from to Monday Friday. to Friday and I'm still, I'm just like, oh my God, I need time. I'm literally rushing to my house to just sit alone and be quiet. Yeah. It's very important. Take time. Schedule time with yourself. Prioritize mm -hmm. yourself. When yeah. you prioritize every other thing, prioritize exactly. time alone. Exactly. Alone. Alone. Take time out. It's good. It might be hard to start. Yeah, yeah but within your schedule, within the context of what you're working with, in that traffic, somehow, somehow, create time for yourself. Just stay alone. Even if you're married, have some time alone, some me time. Mm -hmm. It's therapeutic. Yeah. And you come back refreshed. That's the great part mm -hmm. of it. Amen. Amen, somebody. Okay. So, <laughs> we had to pick. Your turn. Are you sure? You've picked two. Oh, so it's one? No, you, I think you just picked one now. Oh, wow. Uh, I have to right. pick again. Yeah. Brrr. Should I suggest the number for you? I think you? I'm 55. Ah, 5 and 5. Okay. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Good. Breathe before you speak. Similar to that one. Should we still do it or we should pick on that one? Breathe before we speak. I think, okay, let's pick on that one. 10. 10. I want us to be. 10, 10, 10, 10. Where are you? Come on. Be nice. Okay. Learn to live in the moment, in the present moment. I can't give myself. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Learn to live in the present moment. Yeah. There's a saying that says, um, I don't know, a popular saying, yesterday it's, uh, it's the past. Um, yesterday is gone, that's why it's the past. Tomorrow is the future, that's why it's... Um, eh, what's that thing? Never about? come. But they say something about today, <laughs> today is, is the, the present. Today is, um, today is a gift. A that's gift. why that's it's like the present. present. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't know it more, but at you, least you, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like the present. So being present, being present. You know, it's so, it's so, it's so alarming that you can just be going and you can be stuck in the past, still playing that past list in your mind. Though, in as much as time is going, the only thing that no grows without um, effort is age. Mm -hmm. But any other thing I want to grow. Be it your back account want to grow, mm. be it your relationship, even your hair. Hair, you have to be deliberate. Mm, you have to be intentional. The only thing that knows that just grows without no deliberation is age. Mm. But the other thing, you have to be intentional, and that's where this is bringing us to. Mm. Right Learning now. to live in the moment. Yeah, be intentional. Be intentional mm. about that. There's mm. a lot of distraction mm. out there, mm. or maybe a past event that happened, and you just decide want to just to be stuck in the past in as much as everybody has moved on but you've not moved on though it looks as if you're moving on but then you've not moved on be it art break be it this mm. yeah you know, it took me time to move on from my mother's um death when she passed mm. so blessed memory mm. so a wonderful woman but then i had to realize that girl you got to move on you got to but then i'll be like oh look how my friends their mommy are there mommy is dancing with them working with them on their wedding then it's not my own we let my mommy <laughs> you know? <laughs> as in i don't feel that but then i'm like you know what Realize Don't worry, I have mind. plenty of mommies around. <laughs> <laughs> she has left me with plenty of, of lot of mommies and we are going to do that. So it's mm. just living in the present moment, appreciating the gift of life and, mm. you know, it's, it's opened us up for a better future. Mm. You know, like you said, somebody told you something about listening. Someone called me at home and said to him, why are you always in a hurry? Are you a military person? Like, you, you literally have a schedule for the whole month and the whole year already. Plan now. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, plan like, babe, relax. I'm like, okay, that's one of the things I'm also learning. And in the past maybe one year, I'm like, okay, don't rush. There's, there's one of the lessons that actually says, don't act like everything is an emergency. Yeah, like, just yeah, relax like and enjoy it. Yeah. Enjoy the moment. Okay, yeah, we are starting late, but can you relax and enjoy it and just live in that moment? Have Stop stressing yourself. It? it has helped me a lot. I don't have headaches. You understand? Just try to enjoy the present moment, exactly. how it is. Exactly. Because, you know what? There's something I always say. I say to some people, I say, you know what? Eh? If you see me, I will tell you that hmm, 
I'm so going to be famous in my life and wealthy. There will be a day I cannot walk on the streets without people turning. Hmm. If you see Max Ziga Ben, I want you to. Oh, shit, I know. Right <laughs> As I now, eh, let me just be enjoying my walks in peace. Exactly. POV, I know get car. <laughs> and there, there's no bike in Lagos. I'm not driving a car at the moment. Uh, and there's no bike in Lagos. Azee. So, it's a mindset thing. Let me enjoy the blessings of that moment. Yeah, walking. Yeah. There was a time that maybe as younger people could not afford air time. You understand? Mm -hmm. And that time we complained. One thing, one thing, one thing. don't come to an end. No. <laughs> you have money for their time. Do you have time to sit down and be calling? <laughs> <laughs> now you are laughing. <laughs> yeah, well, so. It is very important. Just drop a message. Yeah, honestly, honestly. These days, people's messages give me a headache, honestly. The English is terrible. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what we'll be doing now. Don't even call me. You understand? So, mm -hmm. like, there are blessings in every moment. Exactly. Every moment. Yeah. Every moment. In the use of it. Like, because you will not... When people, what even amazing is that people will now come and say, Ah, last year was so sweet. And that last year you were complaining. And people will say, Ah, let me... Let, we need to mention this one. People will say, Ah, I'm fat -oh, I'm fat -oh, I'm fat -oh. And in two years' time, you will see your picture of from the two years ago that you were saying I'm fat. Though. Be like, I was slim, I was slim enough. And, and now you are still coming. You. At what point in time will you now <laughs> like yourself? Well, is that, well, fat and fluffy, love mm. yourself. Mm. Slim and prime, I'll be any, love yourself. Bro. Tall and, and, and dark, love yourself. I Don't see. go and bleach you. Love please. yourself. Love yourself. Live in the present moment because there are blessings in it. It's today, like, she, like you were saying. It's to, today, will, by tomorrow now, today will be yesterday mm -hmm. it, has it has gone so which day will you now start enjoying maximizing the moment uh, i was talking to my mom earlier in the day while i was just sitting and just chilling and she was she, she was telling me about someone that just passed on recently yeah. and it was just quite a painful person and she was just like to see this life let's just be enjoying ourselves oh, small small with your little money anything you just have just take care of yourself and, and be happy because tomorrow is not uh, Make it try then, then. 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 <laughs> um, uh, you think you've seen it all? Then I'll come, come. <laughs> That's why they save up for the money. Go, go. Honestly. <laughs> well, save. Uh, I don't say it's not save, uh, but them. Uh, yeah. Create them. They try to enjoy like, yourself. Pay yourself. First, reward yourself for achieving some certain milestone in your life. Yes, so that's just Come here, come and buy a reflame product. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of yourself. You Can't you see I'm looking at business now? <laughs> <laughs> Take care of yourself. Go exactly. and do therapy if you need therapy. Pay for that swimming lesson. Yeah. Go to I fit. Go to exercise. Go and exercise okay. your body. Take care of yourself. Don't postpone your happiness. Exactly. Yeah. In the, in your little confines, there's something you can do to take care of yourself mm -hmm. and live in the present moment. Live in the present moment. Yeah, that's it. Are we together? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Okay, I want us to play a game before we go to uh, to the last set of. So you're not picking yours? Okay, you're playing a game first. Have I not picked mine? I just finished mine. Is, is that yours? Yeah. Ah, you sorry. For me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pick for me now. I should pick for you now. Yes. Oh God. Ta da! -da. <laughs> She's the one with the gadget too. Okay. Number two. Oh. Nice. Ah. Oh yeah. What is it? Ah. Make peace with imperfection. Oh, it looks similar to the other one. Mm -hmm. But let me just say, it is. Make peace with imperfection. Life is not perfect. You can never be perfect. Yeah. So in the present moment, live with imperfection. Mm -hmm. Okay, something happened to me like three weeks ago or there about. I had quite a busy time okay. and everything. And I don't like to leave my clothes or like dirty clothes. So usually what I do is, since time in memory, as I come back home, I remove my clothes and wash and stand. Even mm -hmm. if it's raining, still wash and keep in the bathroom. It will be drying there. Yeah. So I'd wash for like a week, like a week, and I brought everything. I didn't have time to, to what they call it, to fold my clothes. Oh, okay. So I kept them on the chair. And then one day my dad now <laughs> called me in the evening. And we're just talking. I just said, oh, Dad, do you have clothes to fold? I'll talk to you later. My dad was like, is your clothes, your chair? In your house, in your room, what will happen I if you don't fold the clothes? I, I just looked at him. He said, and I told one of my other friends, shout out Bishop. I told one of my friends, I was like, Bishop, I have clothes that have not folded. And the normal me, the OCD to say, okay, we should not call ourselves OCD because we don't have a clinical diagnosis yeah, for yeah. it. But then, the normal me, I would like to just put everything and let everything be perfect. But you know what? I had peace. By not disturbing myself, I think maybe 
five days after that conversation, that those conversations, I now had time. I now folded. My house looked. I of course I preferred it, but then I'm learning how to live in the middle of that mess and. Mm -hmm. My, I liked my space very organized and all of that, but then I just put the things there, one after the other. And the, one of the imperfections, sometimes we try to look, we, ha, we, have, we put pressure on ourselves to look great every day, look great every day. You have bad days and there are days you don't have makeup. Yeah. There are days your hair is not at the best thing. You just mm -hmm. make peace with it. It's just life. Nobody's life is all. People yeah. don't wake up like they are Sierra, Sierra or Rihanna or Cardi B. Like I, I do not like wake you. up like this. You have to only mouth. <laughs> yes. Nobody oh, woke up know. like this. Yes. The social media should not pressure us. Uh, no pressure. No pressure. Mm, to live very unrealistic life. Exactly. It's, it's, life is not perfect itself. Mm -hmm. Life is not perfect at all. So let's just make peace with it. It's just what it is. If we kill ourselves, we will not be able to live in the moment. So yeah. that's it. So I'm not picking another one. I've discussed that. This is just it. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. What should we do? Okay. One more. Okay. No. 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 Oh, it's okay. It's so, okay. read the book. Yes. <laughs> read. Yeah. 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 It's a and good book. You can please. pick from. You can pick your own numbers. Random number from one to hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Pick Bef between now and the end of the year. If you actually pick the book right mm -hmm. and read one per day, yeah. you will. You would finish it before the end of the year. Yes, sir. Yes, you should. Hundred. Mm -hmm. October, November, December. Three months. That's like 90, 90 days. Yes. Yeah. We say, yeah. yeah, you should be able to finish it before the end of the year. And there are some that you can even do it within two, one day. Yeah. Because they are quite short. The yes. Are short. That's one of the things I like about the book. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, so I want us to play a game. Hell, game. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so um, choose any alphabet. Since we've been choosing, yeah, choose any alphabet. Alphabet. Yes. Okay, let me start with the first one. A. A. Okay, so. Once I tell you something to say, you tell me something from that alphabet. Country. Australia. City. Abuja. Abuja is a city. <laughs> city. city. Animal. Ants. Okay, this is thin. <laughs> thin. A thin. Apron. A thin. Oh, nice. <laughs> Name of somebody. Abigail. <laughs> Artist. A musician. Abigail Laven. Do I pronounce it very well? There's an old artist, Avril Laven. I don't know if okay. I got her name right, but fruit. Okay, apple. Oh, nice. Okay, that was. Okay, you just you just messed my head right now. <laughs> oh yeah, do you for me take? Oh. Okay, so we will do. You will do my. You see, we're slow. Okay. The next time we we'll do will be very fast. Ah. I will close up the episode. Okay. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, okay, yeah. pick a number. Uh, pick a letter rather, an alphabet. K. K. Yes. Country. Kenya. Wow. City. Kano. Wow. Animal. Kangaroo. Oh, wow. Thin. Kettle. Okay, wow. Name. Kazim. Nice. <laughs> Artist. I want to say Kadibi. <laughs> that is C. Oh, <laughs> uh, Kanye West. Okay, nice. Fruit. Fruit that starts with K. Uh, you. Fruit. Kiwi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's out of it. I will, I don't know. I shall collect <laughs> that. Okay, all right. It's your turn. <laughs> name of, awesome. name of country. <laughs> okay, I should pick a number, B. I should oh, pick yeah. it later. No, let's do name of country, name of country, name of country, okay, name of country. Now. Yes. So we just go. Name of country, name of country, name of country that you know. Name of country, name of country, name of country that you know. Singapore. Kenya. Israel. Canada. Oshe, you want, you want to jump <laughs> back? Sorry. Oh, you said I want to jump back. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's do it again. Ah, see, we have stood up. You should just say I want to jump back right now. When oh, I yeah? say Kenya, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Name of country, name of country, name of country. Serious, yes, no. Uh, Kenya. South Africa. Ca Canada. Ghana. Uganda. Nigeria. Gambia. Togo. Namibia. Morocco. Niger. America. South Africa. Okay. Okay, I want to say. I'm out. <laughs> wow. I'm oh out. yeah, let's go again. Kenya just came into my mouth. <laughs> let's go again. Um, let's do animal. Name of animal, animal. Name of animal. Name of animal that you know. Ant. Kangaroo. Why did you take so much time? <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay. out. I'm out. I'm out. One one. Okay, <laughs> last one, one. Last one. Do you want to draw the tie? 
Name of fruit, name of fruit, ah. name of fruit that you know, banana, orange, watermelon, grape, guava, granite. Granite is a fruit. Granite is a not not a fruit. Error, error, error. Okay, error. okay so what's now? Walnut is what? No, you did not say walnut. You said granite because they are granite walnuts. Are you asking me? Google is your friend. Oh, okay. Let's <laughs> have me to ask Google if not Please, we ask, we ask Google after the episode. Oh, thank you so much. It was Hello. nice to actually do this podcast yeah. with you. Thank we didn't plan you. it like this, though. You just came out naturally. We decided not to sweat this episode. Exactly. Yeah, because... I think one of our commitments between now and the end of the year and till later is going to be not to sweat the small stuff mm-hmm. and all of that. Um, overthinking, it's not over worry about it. Yeah, overthinking, you know, there's a problem. At all. My therapy in one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> all my therapy money. At all. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for yeah, joining us on this episode. Me. Thank, thank you. you so much, Deborah. Thanks for your time. Thanks thank for the you. insight. Would you like to share a word with our people before we go? Vote of thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks. I think she has said if if you're not even like okay, maybe you did not listen from the beginning or you're not taking anything, but please at least from now to the end of the year, try not to you know, don't sweat it. Don't mm. overthink it. Like a lot of things, a lot of people are going through a lot. Mm. If you're not you're going through a lot, you're about to enter a lot. Or <laughs> you're, you're just coming back coming from a lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> so mental health should be something you prioritize. I know mm. your inner peace should, it's a key thing. So try not to like overthink yeah yeah just be positive yeah i've keep up alive hope is one of the greatest weapons we yeah. use to fight yeah any but just keep up alive yeah thank and you this, yeah we end up end out so come to now we amen thank you for listening yeah thank you remember that this episode is a shout out to prevent suicide, suicide. In our, in our society. society. Thank you. Thank you. Stay sane. Yeah. <laughs> Deborah signing out. Signing out, yeah. <laughs> Until soon. Bye. Bye.